Hello everyone. Let's have the solution to example 3 by the double integration method. So compute slope at A, deflection at A, slope just to the left of C, slope just to the right of C, and the deflection at C by the double integration method. Take note, the moment of inertia for the portion ABC of the beam is equal to I, while that of portion from C to F is 1.5 of I and E is constant. So this beam is this beam has an interior pin or hinge at C. So therefore we have two uh, integrals. We set up integral for ABC and set up integral for C D E F because the moment of inertia for the portion C D E F is different and secondly the moment equation is is not continuous at C. So first of all we have to compute for the reactions. So let us say the reaction at B is denoted by dy and because this is an interior pin so let's assume it is downward here then upward just to the right action reaction concept then dy is upward ey is also upward. So considering ABC, uh, this is uh, for setting up the equation of the differential equation of the elastic curve. So we'll call that x1, and our origin for ABC is A. Then for CBEF, our origin is C. So up to this section here, call that x sub 2. So considering the entire, considering ABC, we sum up moment about uh, C to solve for dy. So clockwise as positive. So we have dy times 5 equals 25 times 7. So by is equal to 35 kilonewtons upward. So if this is 35 kilonewtons upward, summation forces y. So cy is equal to 10. So that 25 plus 10 equals 35. So cy is 10. So this is also 10. Then considering now CDEF, we sum up moment about point A to solve for dy. Take note CY is 10. So clockwise as positive. So we have dy times 8 plus 10 times 14 minus or equals 32 times 15. Then the, the center is 7.5 from the right but we take moment about E, so 7.5 minus 1, so the moment arm is 6.5. So solving for dy, d sub y is equal to 372.5 kilonewtons upward. Then summation moment about uh, point D equals 0 to solve for ey counterclockwise as positive. So we have ey times 8 counterclockwise. Then everything is clockwise so equals 10 times 6 then plus 32 times 15 times this distance is 1.5 so that 6 plus 1.5 is 7.5 half of 15 so ey times 8 equals 32 times 15 times 1.5 plus 10 times 6 so solving for ey ey is equal to 97.5 kilonewtons upward so now that all the reactions are computed, let's now set up the differential equation first for ABC. So EI times Y double prime of ABC is equal to EY, which is 35. Then this distance is X1 minus 2, then minus 25 times X sub 1. So that's the differential equation for ABC. Then integrating once. EI Y prime ABC equals 35 over 2, so 17.5 X1 minus 2 square minus 12.5 X1 square plus C sub 1. Take note that C sub 1 is the slope at A, or this is theta A. Then integrating again, EI Y ABC equals 17.5 X minus 1, quantity X1 minus 2 cube over 3 is 35 over 6 
x1 minus 2 cube minus 12.5 divided by 3 is 25 over 6 x1 cube plus c sub 1 x plus c sub 2. So c sub 2, take note, is the deflection at a or this is delta a. Then for the portion uh, CDEF, E times I is 1.5 of I. And Y double prime of CDEF equals, remember this is 10, so 10 times X sub 2 plus DY, or 372.5 times this distance is X2 minus 6. Then plus EY, which is 27.5, then this distance is X sub 2 minus 14. Then minus the moment of the load, which is 32 times x2 times x2 over 2. So that's why you have minus 16 x2 squared. So dividing everything by 1.5 EIY double prime CDEF equals 20 over 3 x2 plus 37 plus 745 over 3 x2 minus 6 plus 65 x2 minus 14 minus 32 over 3 x2 squared. Take note, we divide first everything by 1.5 so that this left side becomes EI Y double prime of CDE. Integrating once, so this becomes, this coefficient is divided by 2. So 10 over 3 X sub 2 square, then divided by 2. So 745 over 6 X 2 minus 6 quantity square plus 32.5 X 2 minus 14 square minus 16 over Oh, sorry, 32 over 9 uh, divided by 3. The integral of x2 squared is x2 cube over 3. So 32 over 9 x2 cube. Then plus another constant c sub 3. So take note that this constant c sub 3 is the slope just to the right of c. Remember the definition of this. This is the slope just to the right of c. Because that c there is the origin for this. Uh, differential equation. Then integrating again, so we have uh, EI YCD of 10 over 9 x2 cube plus 745 over 18 x2 minus 6 cube plus 65 over 6 x2 minus 14 cube minus 8 over 9 x2 to the fourth plus C sub 3 x plus C sub 4. This C sub 4 here corresponds to the deflection at C. And C sub 3 is the slope just to the right of C. Take note of the definition. So let's use this equation first because we have two boundary conditions for E, I, Y, C, D, E, F. At X, X2 equals 6 and X2 equals 14, both this deflection Y, C, D, E, F is 0. So when X is equal to 6 and x2 is equal to 14 y c d e f is 0 first when x2 is 6 set this to 0 remember the the rule for double integration if the quantity in parentheses is negative just ignore it we only consider the quantity to be positive so if the quantity is negative then ignore it so substitute so 0 equals 10 over 9 times 6 cube. This is 0. Then this is ignored because this is negative. So minus 8 over 9, 6 to the 4th. And plus C sub 3 times 6 plus C sub 4. Uh, simplifying this equation, 6 C sub 3 plus C sub 4 equals 912. Call that equation 1. Then when X is 14, so this is 0 when X is 14. So, 0 equals 10 over 9 times 14 cubed plus 745 over 18 times 8 cubed. Then, minus 8 over 9 times 14 to the 4th plus C sub 3 times 14 plus C sub 4. So, simplifying this equation, this is 14 C sub 3 plus C sub 4 equals 8, 9, 1, 6, 8 over 9. Call that equation 2. So, you can eliminate C sub 4. Actually, you may subtract. Uh, equation 1 from equation 2 or and vice versa you can solve your c sub 3 so since this is just a matter of calculator then c sub 3 is equal to 100 1124.444 1, 
C sub 4 equals negative 5834.667. Those are the values. So therefore, since I mentioned a while ago that C sub 3 is the slope just to the right of C, and C sub 4 is the deflection at C, so therefore, the slope just to the right of C is 1124.44 over EI, and the deflection at C is negative 5834.667 over EI. So that's it. So having found delta C, then we can use uh, the differential equation for ABC or the equation of ABC because we only have one uh, boundary condition here when x is x1 is 2, y is 0. So we need another one because we have found the deflection at C. Then we said when x is 7, y, y ABC is equal to delta C, which is negative 5834.67. So, when x1 is 2, y abc is 0. And when x1 is 7, y abc is equal to negative 17504 over 3 ei, which is this value in decimal form. So, just to make our results uh, accurate. So, 0 equals negative 25 over 6 into this equation here times uh, 2 cube, 20, negative 25 over 6 times 2 cube, this is 0, and x is 2, x1 is 2, plus c sub 1 times 2 plus c sub 2. Simplifying, 2 c sub 1 plus c sub 2 equals 100 over 3. Call that equation 3 then. When x1 is 7, y abc is negative 17, 5 over 4 over 3, the exact value equals 35 over 6, this is 5 cubed, then minus 25 over 6, 7 cubed, plus C sub 1 times 7, plus C sub 2. Simplifying this equation, we have 7 C sub 1 plus C sub 2 equals negative 15,404 over 3. Call that equation 4. And again, you can eliminate C sub 2 by subtracting one equation from the other. Then, without showing that anymore because I expect that you know how to solve two equations in two unknowns. So C sub 1 is equal to negative 1033.6 and C sub 2 is 2100.5333. So remember that C sub 1 is the slope at A while C sub 2 is the deflection at A. So divide, we just divide that by EI that corresponds to slope and deflection at A respectively. So, therefore, theta A is negative 1033.6 over EI, while delta A is 2100.533 over EI. Now, because just to the left of C, it is in portion ABC, so we can, subs we can find the slope at C just to the left when we set X is 7 and substitute into this equation here. So, EI, theta C just to the left, is equal to 17.5 times 5 squared minus 12.5 times 7 squared plus C sub 1, which is already obtained, negative 1033.6. So using your calculator, evaluate that, then we find theta C just to the left, which is equal to negative 1008.6 over EI. So this is the solution of this challenging problem on beams. So thank you for watching and I hope that you understood the presented solution. So you just keep on practicing and we will master this uh, double integration method. So don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel and have comments if you have questions so that uh, you will be updated for my next videos. Thank you.